All right. So we've had a few people ask for help with the USM setting setting it all up, getting USM working. USM stands for Unified System Manager. So we're going to go ahead and go over that today. Um, once you've been set up, you'll receive a message with your auth key and your console link. Um, note the auth key that we send you is not your server authorization key. It's a whole separate key, but as we state, uh, don't lose it. Don't give it to anybody that you don't want having access to um, your to be able to edit your dispatch console pretty much. Uh, and in the future, there might be some other things on there. So uh, any keys, anything like that that you see in today's video, they will be deactivated by the end. So uh, just don't try. We're going to start off with uh, going to usm.scncoms.app. Um, once you get there, you'll be prompted with a screen like this. So you'll go ahead and enter your community admin key here. And you're going to hit select key. And you'll see a page like this. Okay. By default, this is pretty simple. A lot of people, a lot of people get it. Some people don't though, because it's kind of hard. Um, if you're not familiar with like how uh, digital systems work, but um, you're going to start with your channels. Or sorry, you're going to start with your groups actually. And by default, the default code plugs. So um, what comes with the script are, are are automatically added in there. So for groups, you know, here you go. That's as easy as it is. You can delete it. If you want, you can create a new group, whatever you want to do, right? But that's, that's the simplest part. Now, once you've made your groups, and I would highly advise doing your groups first, then we'll move on to channels. So you're going to have a lot of channels. Um, if you, you know, do customization. So this is where some people get stuck. So we're going to go with Law Dispatch just because it's at the top of the list. The name is what is appear what will appear on the... Uh, actual like console itself for that talk group the talk group id has to match the talk group id of your subscribing radius in game meaning open up your code plugs in cps and do a side by side you want to make sure that your talk group id matches and then your second biggest thing is encryption if you're using encryption you have to have matching keys so if by default, the, the encryption key we use is SCRP, just because that's what it was. That key needs to match in-game and vice versa. If you have encryption keys on the dispatch console and you're not encrypted in-game, you won't hear it. Uh, dispatch, uh, you will not hear dispatch. And if you're encrypted in-game and not encrypted on dispatch console, you won't hear the units uh, in-game. And it, that's the same thing if the keys are not the same. Uh, if they're different values, it won't work. So if you're not using encryption, blank it out just by doing that, deleting it. Okay, set your channel group to wherever you want it to be. And then you just do that for all your channels. That's the easy part. So the last thing is tone sets. These are your fire two-tone paging. Now in the description of this video, I will leave a link to um, this page here, which is Motorola Quick Call 2 Tones, and that's what we use. So the numbers that correspond in the tones that you'll see in here are not in, fre like they're not frequency in Hertz. Um, so if you go to this page and you look at 112, that's 368.5 Hertz. And I'll leave this, this table again, I'll leave it in the description. You don't have to follow this. You can enter whatever frequency and hertz you want to use, but it's just, this is the system we use because it makes sense to us and it's a easy number value to represent a tone. So for there, you'll name your tone. You'll enter the talk group tone needs to be on. So in this case, 21, which is fire dispatch. You set your tone one and there's a, you know, here you can pick tones <laughs> and, uh, a tone two and the group where that tone is going to be. So in this case, 21 is the fire ch uh, dispatch channel and it's in the fire zone. Now what's really cool is we actually can play um, the tone 
I believe it still works. So if you were to go in here and switch it up to some random ones. You can set your tones. So you don't have to figure it out by Hertz, but if you have specific like Hertz, it sounds funny to say it, but Hertz in mind, just use this table and you can, you can replicate whatever tones you want. So once you're done with everything, editing all of that, you hit go ahead and press save configuration. Now we say you see it in the pop-up here users may need to hard refresh the dispatch console to see changes now a hard refresh is uh, clearing your cache so if you need to figure out how to clear your cache just put in google whatever browser you're using in this case uh firefox is control f5 so that's what i'm using um and figure out how to refresh and clear your cache for most users you won't have an issue with saving. If you have an issue with saving, let us know in your ticket and we can help you out. But that's pretty much it. Uh, we won't get into how to use the console in this video because it's pretty self-explanatory and we will have another video for that specifically. But if we want to test here, we can go ahead and just play the tone we edited. And there we go. So pretty simple. Um, if this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need more help, open a ticket. We're more than happy to help you. And just, uh, we'll see if we can search you out. So thank you and have a good day.